Hey everybody, let's talk about the West Virginia snow belt. The reason why I want to talk about that real quick is because I'm going to guarantee you a white Christmas for the snow belt that is. Uh, the snow belt, in case you guys that don't know West Virginia very well, runs from the eastern panhandle right around Elkins and up that way down through western Pocahontas County and Snowshoe down into western Greenbrier and Quinwood down through that's your major uh, snow belt your minor snow belt uh, comes down out of Fayette into Raleigh County and down here to the far tip of West Virginia uh, that is the West Virginia snow belt now I'm going to show you four models here and why I guarantee that area uh, a white Christmas. Uh, this is the data pool for between now and uh, basically Christmas Eve. You're going to have a system come through on Sunday morning and uh, you're also going to have a system come through on Tuesday morning and then again right at Christmas now what you're seeing here on this particular model anywhere you see the purple running up through there is at least six inches now this does not factor in melting because you're talking about going from uh, this coming Sunday through Christmas Day so uh, I guess that's about a six day period um, so this does not factor in melting but you see anywhere in here in the purple on this particular model uh, I believe this is the GSF model if I'm not mistaken would be 6 inches during that time frame uh, now the darker collars reddish looking collar in the middle that is over a foot as you can see up here at the top 13.6 if you see the light pink area right there even higher you know that could be uh, 15 16 17 inches on this model like I said does not factor in melting and because we don't know what Christmas storm is going to end up being like uh, you know if it ends up being a bigger system then obviously your lowlands will get snow too right now we're just concentrating on the high terrain in West Virginia snow belt now look at this next model here not as uh, progressive you see that the Beckley area doesn't really have any purples it's only showing uh, I have three to four inches between Sunday and Christmas like I said you're gonna have a system Sunday morning Tuesday morning and right around Christmas in case you didn't catch that uh, but you can see in the heights rain uh, Western Greenbrier say like Rupert rain L area could end up with like six to ten inches not factoring in melting by Christmas morning um, like I said these dark purplish reddish collars is 12 plus uh, which is running from Quinwood up to Snowshoe parts of steep terrain around uh, the neighboring counties there towards the west let's look at the next one now this one here is like the GSF the first one we showed having six inches or more running down uh, through Beckley uh, west of Bluefield uh, that's all steep mountainous terrain and I mean you guys are probably already have snow on the ground right now I think Wynwood probably has over nine or ten inches right now uh, but as I said this is additional snow from Sunday morning Tuesday morning and right around Christmas Day uh, and you can see the darker collars would be the 12 plus up in the high terrain now this is uh, the European model I waited to show it last because it showed a similar scenario uh, uh, scenario is if the Christmas storm was a little bit bigger cold air got into place you have the moisture in place you know everything works good uh, but still yeah this totals even on this European map is for 
like I said, Sunday morning, Tuesday morning, and right around Christmas. And you can see that the only way you see like Charleston getting eight inches of snow over that time period is if the Christmas storm ends up being a decent storm. We don't know that right now, so don't take that to heart. But if that would happen, you know, you would end up with some snow uh, on that side of the state where Charleston and the coal fields is, and that like that would come from the Christmas system, not from what comes Sunday morning and Tuesday morning. And you can see the blue line that runs up here on the right-hand side there. That's the three-inch mark. So, you know, uh, you got three inches, and then everything west of that goes on up. But like I said, there's potential. I feel like definitely the snow belt was, like I said, if you go back here to the first image, that purple that runs straight up to the state, that's your snow belt. And you can see where the extreme snow belt is. That's your extreme. That's what I call a grade one snow belt, the purple grade two. That's just my terminology I like to refer to for West Virginia. Anyways, that's what it's looking like. Again, in case you missed it, Sunday morning, Tuesday morning, and then right around Christmas is your next three events that could give you any of this snow. Guys, you have a good one.